Welcome back to yours truly and the one and only DJ Dash. And today we are going over smart crates. So if you do not know what smart crates are, it's pretty much this little blue icon right here. You click on it, it says smart crate rules. So the pretty much the way smart crates works is you give it a criteria or a set of rules and every song that meets or matches that criteria then gets pulled into the smart crate, right? So before we get started with some examples, I just wanna make something very clear that's very important. So for your music, right? You need to make sure that you have the metadata in these songs so then that when you make your smart crates, it'll then be able to pull it, right? So you can't create a smart crate of all your R&B music and you don't have the genre R&B inputted into your R&B songs. Same goes for year and then same goes for like clean music. If you don't have the word clean in songs that are clean or at least somewhere else to where you can recognize it, then it's gonna make it very difficult for you to create your smart crates. So, and then for smart crates, you want to make for different scenarios. So for me, I use comment for girls. So girls opening, bangers, close is usually like most what these are. And then grouping is for open format. Remixer is for the club. Album is for brunch. And then composer is for like remixes and edits. So if we were to create, let's say, a smart crate for a Y2K party, and all the music has to be clean, right? We'll click on the blue box. It'll pull up the rules. We need to set three rules. Two, have them, two of them have to be year, and the last one needs to be song. So we'll say the year after 1989, so pretty much starting in 1990, and then the year before 2010. We'll contain clean because, as we just stated, if the song has the word clean in it, then it'll pull this into the smart crate. So we'll hit save. It'll literally create the smart crate like that in a blink of an eye, just like that. So now we have 737 songs into one crate. Do you understand how long that would take a DJ to make a crate like that? It would take a DJ hours to make a crate like that. Just dragging and dropping, dragging and dropping, going through all these other crates in their all folder and just going over and over. It's too much. Just create smart crates. Just make sure that when you download music, you include the metadata that you need to put in. The moment you download it and you're adding your hot cues, just take your time and do that as well. So we'll do another example, right, just to show you how powerful smart crates are. We'll say, for me, I said album is brunch. We'll say brunch opening, right? We'll say genre is R&B. And we can say R&B needs to be after the year 2009. So different than um, our Y2K party. We'll click it, and just like that. R&B songs for brunch that were made after the year 2009, so 2010 and above, right? So there goes another one. We'll say this is open 2010 plus, and then, you know, it should say R&B somewhere, but we'll just keep moving. And then let's say the last one, you want to do something interesting, right? So let's say you want to get all your club songs, so everything that's considered club, that I would play in the club for me personally, of course. Um, and let's say we want all my mashups and edits. So not original songs, like these are edits, mashups made by other DJs and other people. For me, that's in Composer, all I gotta do is type in Remix, hit Save, and just like that, every single song that's a mashup and edit, as you can see, we have Jersey, we have dance hall to hip hop. We have, you know, Afrobeats, R&B, all these different mashups and edits that I would play in the club literally right there in a crate. How many songs is that? 47 songs, which isn't as much as 737, but that still will take a DJ time just going through their crates and trying to figure out and drag and drop. And this is literally in a matter of seconds. So we can say club edits just like that. Matter of seconds. So this is really the power of smart crates. And I always tell DJs all the time, like, if you really want to make it a much easier job for you when it comes to downloading music and you're not stressed every single time, you got a bunch of new songs you need to download, you haven't updated your library in a month or so, use smart crates. All you have to do is download music. When you download it, input the genre, input the year if it didn't come with that, and then input the little things that you put that makes it unique to what you like. Like I said, for me, comment, girl bangers. Open format is in grouping, bangers. Remixer, club bangers. Albums for brunch, composers for remixes slash edits, mashups, stuff like that. So use smart crates to your advantage, and I promise it will make your life so much easier when it comes to crate management.